Chris Harris and I'm from AlloyTutors.com and this video we're going to look at something called water of crystallization. So it's a bit of a funny one because you see it quite a lot in exams, in particular in practical exams, um, but also some exam boards have it in their standard exams as well. Um, water of crystallization is uh, the best way to describe it is if you have a sponge. Uh, a sponge has a mass. Now, if you put that sponge in water, the sponge gets heavier and um, because it has the mass of the original sponge and the water. Chemicals are the same as well. So you can have uh, solid compounds like calcium carbonate, uh, magnesium sulfate, etc. Um, and they can absorb water as well. So you have the mass of the original solid compound, but they can absorb water or they have water that's already attached to them. Now, water of crystallization is basically how much water there is per molecule, per solid molecule. And you can actually work this out as well. And it's a really simple way of working this out. And it's actually using a method, uh, it's the same method as the empirical formula. So if you've seen the video on empirical formula, you'll find this hopefully relatively straightforward. If you haven't, go and take a look. So I've got a question on here, and I'm gonna work through it and show you how to, uh, how to calculate uh, a water of crystallization. So if we look at the first one, uh, 3.210 grams of hydrated magnesium sulfate, which is MgSO4 dot XH2O, uh, was heated to make 1.567 grams of anhydrous magnesium sulfate. Find the value of X and hence give the formula of the hydrated salt. So this is actually, it looks scary in the one it is, um, but the first thing we're going to do is set it out a bit like an empirical formula, except we don't have atoms like an empirical formula, but we have two parts of this molecule. We have the magnesium sulfate bit, which I will put on here. So there we go. And um, we've got a water part as well, which I will put over there. But just like the empirical formula, we need to work out the number of moles. So the number of moles is mass divided by MR, and that will tell us the number of moles in our substance. So we need to work out the amount of mass of magnesium sulfate without the water attached to it. Now the exam, uh, the question, sorry, has actually given us the amount of magnesium sulfate without water. That's what the anhydrous means. It means without water. So we're going to write that on there. So the mass of magnesium sulfate is 1.567 grams. Now with water, we haven't been told that, but we can work it out. Uh, and we can work it out by taking the mass of the hydrated magnesium sulfate, this is the magnesium sulfate with the water, and subtract it away from the mass of the anhydrous. And then from that, we should be able to work out the mass of water. And the mass of water comes out at 1.643 grams. So that's really, really straightforward to work out. Then what you do, is you divide both sides by the MR. Now the MR of magnesium sulfate, if you use your periodic table, should come out at 120.4, and the mass of water is 18.0. Um, so there's your masses there. Uh, and then all you do is you put them in your calculator, just like as if you were doing with empirical formula, and work out your moles. So you should find that you should have 0.013 moles of magnesium sulfate, uh, and you should have 0.091 number of moles of water. And again, just like empirical formula, you find out your lowest number of moles. And in this case, it's this one, which is 0.013. And you divide both sides by that number of moles. So this is going to be 0.013 and divide that by 0.013. Um, that should give us one. Uh, and this one should give us, if you put it in your calculator, should give us a number of seven. Now you can see here straight away we've got a ratio. Uh, we know that for every one magnesium sulfate, we have seven waters attached to it. Uh, and then we can write out our formula, because obviously that's not the answer, because it did ask, that's the value of X, which is seven, but then it says give the formula of the hydrated salts. So I'll write it up here, here. so it should be MgSO4. Dot 7H2O. And there is your formula. Easy. That's it. Bye.